probably in the 40s. Well, at least the lights are working. The timers are on and off. They are. These guys like the outdoors. Here comes the daily in and out. Yeah, so it begins. It's not that bad. It feels like winter kind of dragged along, but I'm not ready for this. But yeah, it looks like you have a bunch of lights down here. What are you doing with that? waiting for you to help me put them up and together so I can get the rest of my seeds started. Mm. Funny um, you should ask. Uh, yeah. You really want to know? No, I don't. All my tubers are surviving. Wow. Yeah. Looking good. I started. Which one is this? Cozy Town DeVille and Cozy Town K. Looking good, firm, so it worked. Although the temperature is starting to go up in here, so I expect that these are gonna wake up pretty soon. Um, but it is late March, so. Yeah, I'm sure be... they're looking forward to being reburied again. <laughs> what kind of life is that? What? I would wanna be buried so that my beautiful blooms could show. You're not too pretty as a tuber, you look like a tato. Yeah. Um, these would be definitely water so you may have to invest in one of those cheap dollar store hoses that look like snakes yeah, and no, shrivel we had back one. we had one it, yes it, it worked leak. good it, it didn't last long though well nothing lasts do long have, around here do we have any hoses here no i don't know garage is a mess again what are we going to do with all this stuff can do whatever you'd like with it anytime you got free time today i was gonna play hooky today but unfortunately you're home wanted, let's put these outside and then i can run a hose and hose them and then we'll bring them in tonight and then i don't have to run the lights do we have a hose to do that it's a lot cheaper to not where's the it's strange because with you, it's always, can you help me with one thing, but it turns into many things. Well, I can leave these on, but it's cheaper not to. You like that? Saving I don't money. know. Is it, though? Saving money. My time is money. Saving time. What's the temperature at? Well, I kind of did miss filming you, walking around, doing what you love best. This is not what I love best. Look at how some, look how some are huge and some are not. So when did you start growing those? Like this guy, he needs a little more soil like up top, I feel like. Like how many weeks old are these plants right uh, here? That's a good question. I started sprouting these, I could tell you, hang on one second. Five weeks, six weeks? I started them the day after Christmas. So it's been almost two, two so three December, months. January, February, March, three months old. Wow. Yeah. And I mean, I did, I did them in rounds. So some of them are bigger than others, and some are just some are not very big in general. But now, are you using fertilizer or anything yes. like that? Fish fertilizer on them. Yep. Yep. Because now they're they're kind of getting to the point where even you know they're not in big enough containers. Um, to feed them with the potting mix, so I have I supplement with them. I'm glad it's breezy though, because that will help toughen these guys up a little bit too. Yeah, because uh, when you grow these, you always have a fan on. It seems like. Yeah. Well, yeah, I usually do. I, I've I've kind of used them for my um, my snapdragons and my other my echinacea seedlings. So these guys kind of got neglected a little bit this year, but they look pretty good considering. I thought the fan was to cool off the plants from being under the hot lights. No, it's for air movement and so that they don't dampen off and um, to sturdy them up a little bit. Want to see what I found? Whoa, I didn't realize that was all connected. Look at this. 
you remember I did a demonstration at the farmer's market oh, about no. dividing dahlias? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the easy part. The hard part is when you cut yourself and you got to break out the band-aids. We don't need you to do that, especially no. in front of everybody. I didn't, you know, I didn't think about bringing such a large tuber like that. Looks like you're doing an alien autopsy. I know, my gosh. Maybe I should start charging five bucks. We'll do a freak show over here. Hey, I know there's an ACDC tribute band playing down at the VFW next Friday night. Maybe we can do the next presentation down there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Good job, honey. Thanks. You forgot them? No, they're in here, not in any material, and they're actually still alive. Wow. I mean, even divided, they're still alive. Like, and I have clumps of dahlias that have, like, they're, they're alive. I even wrapped them some in saran wrap, and they're just like, they're perfect. Holy cow. You're in the way. No, this thing doesn't stay. Yeah. Zoe, don't! Get out of the way! Get out of the way. Well, gardening with pets. What's the problem? It's not lined up with this. You got too many things in the way over here. Blinking there. Now you're lined up. Until you squish clean. Can you please? <laughs> Jesus. Get out of the way. Stay. Stay. Both of you. Stay. Stay. Will it happen this time? Oh, I was waiting. forget to bring those in tonight because it's going to be like 20 degrees today. yeah and so it begins double duty here Do you want to give an update on your cooler room project or? I don't know if you can see in here. What's I'm sure we can figure it out. We, yeah. No, they started um, Maybe if you open this door, be more light. tearing it apart. And uh, yeah, we have some things to fix. This front board, I think they're going to fix for us for the roof because the water's just kind of like sinking over the top and not good. But yeah, so we're going to do started well they just started i didn't do anything but. but they're starting to board it up and fix all the stuff that's kind of hollow and uh yeah this is it i'm gonna miss that old door there though why I you don't won't know. you won't when it's actually functioning like it should and then they're gonna take this part out this concrete right here out because otherwise you gotta step up over and how many times do you think we're gonna trip with a bucket of flowers but those lovely flowers <laughs> we just can't take that extra step too yeah. big so but anyway it's gonna this is gonna be where the door goes where we can just slide it open and closed and we're gonna get this insulated i think that has to be like a r25 rating insulation um and the he's gonna cut a spot for the air conditioner to go in and then attach the cool bot and then hopefully we'll have a place to store and harvest flowers and keep some bouquets and 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 we can store tubers in here because the humidity will stay high um so over the winter this is my new dahlia storage spot so that's exciting it'll be like my safe house when i want to escape yes well i'll be able to control the humidity and the temperature so i can also get it to my phone like it'll tell me if something is below the standard that i set so if i'm at home and something kicks off here I'll know if there's a problem and I can come, uh, you know, do what I have to do to save my stuff. So that's exciting. Technology is good for that. It's not exciting. It's cool. 
It's cool. You're quick. Yeah. You're quick. Anyway, we're gonna go plant some cool seeds. Oh no! What? Emma has my jacket, and my seeds are in my pocket. Flying yeah. out. They're flying out on the trails right now as she's quad riding. Well, great. <laughs> Crap! I didn't think about that. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll check in with you. Who knows if I'm gonna bug you today or not? Well, yeah, don't bug me. Actually, you can go bug my tulips. See how high up they are? So do these tulips look different than the ones that are down in the uh, open or no? Not really. Because you well, work. They're taller, but they're also warming up faster because they're in a crate and not in the ground. By the way, see this? Signs of either moles or bowls are happening already. Oh. Look at this. That's terrible. They're finding us. Wow. The deer oh ate some of my tulips and now they're starting to make tunnels. Yeah, but you know what? The snakes are, will be out real soon. I hope so. And the birds, the hogs yeah. are good. They got it. Emma don't care. She's ready to get dirty. Ah. I just said, hey, try not to make a mess down here. I guess he's trying. So are you happy with the tulips now? Because a couple weeks ago you were... No, I'm not. I mean, these look better. These are still like an inch tall. So I don't know what's going to happen there, but... Um, I think in a few minutes when they are like kind of done riding, we're going to take, have them take all of these rocks and put them somewhere. Where do you want them? I don't know. How are they going to be taking them? I think we're going to make that big rock pile over there. They can use, use a wheelbarrow. It's functioning. I don't know how you're going to convince your kids to give up quad riding for rock collecting. Well, Blake owes me an hour today. Anyway. Well, good and luck with that. Strawberry My garlic looks good. So, yeah, high tunnel. We're moving it back to where we originally thought we were going to put it. Yes, and I'm actually going to get grow space up there so we don't have to fight the water. And we, can, we have to fix some drainage issues. Um... We have to scrape up some of the drain, the French drain topping that was put on. It's like gravel and it needs to be the larger stone. So as soon as the water hits it, it sinks and it doesn't run right over. So right now that drainage isn't doing much, but it's going to be fixed. So all so, it took was one discussion with our excavator and yeah. he yeah, finally... He's going to fix it and, you know, it, it was... It was alright. Um, and then we gotta finish doing the rows up there. Yeah, what's going up there? We're, what do you feel like doing? I would love to take fencing down. No, just plant. Ryan? Well, because there's concrete posts and just, bird on the post just leave it be till we're ready to do that project to completion. That is a bird. Wait. Yeah. You need to make a punch list, one that doesn't knock us out with the first two tasks. Seriously, focus on one job. That's the problem. We no, get we'll distracted. No, I'd rather get the rows done then. It's yes, do it. what you two do best. All right, getting a little windy for me out here. I, I might check in with you. Who knows? Actually, do you want to run it No, I don't. It's too early. It's going to be 20 tomorrow night. It's probably a little too early. Once again, we're ahead of ourselves. No, I need to plant. I can't plant if you don't have a spot to plant. But if it rains, it's really going to, you know, create a, a, a frozen frost line issue. What? You can leave it in there. Roll them up. That sounded good. I think she bought it. Well, this has to be rotatile before we can even amend it. Uh... I'm not prepared for this, mentally or physically. I didn't even get the train for it. We're warming up hands in my shoes. Yeah, I have the can go sit in my truck. The first nice day, and she wants me to run a rotator. Take some of it. 
been nice since February. Well. You're lucky I didn't have you out here doing it in February. I know, but come on. In the snowstorm. What about the frost line? Well, we'll just, why don't we just prep these beds so they're ready to go? Though? I think that's a good idea because then, you know, the weather doesn't come back to bite you in the behind. What do you think? It has nothing to do with that. Yes, it does. You're, you're not, you're not you weren't listening to the excavator guy the other day. What? He oh. said, hey, don't forget about the frost line. Yes, he did. It was windy. She may not have heard it. Oh, no way. But I did. So, yeah. All right. I think they're going to do something where they don't need my assistance. Oh, thank you. For now. Wow. So, what are you going to do? Just, like, weed everything out of here? I don't get it. What do you mean? How do you know what to pick? What do you mean? Out of the gardens here. What do you mean pick? Well, it looks like you're gonna have to clean it up. I am, I'm doing it now. I'm just, I'm taking all the dead foliage off and then, um, you know, all this stuff is dead. So I'm just cleaning it up so the deer can find them easier. Yeah. Looking for the tags. It's got to be a better way. It just seems like the tags are harming the environment. Ew. Well, feel free to create spreadsheets if you'd like. Oh. Uh, I started with spreadsheets, but when you're out here and doing stuff, it, it doesn't matter. Your, your best laid plans can go by the wayside. There, now it's clean. I say buy fewer plants so I you can these. remember what you have. I made these. I didn't have to buy them. Wow. These are all crosses and seedlings and weeds. Well, it's also another Indian summer day, so your chief can you, and instead of saying how, you say now. Let's get to it. Well, I'm. you know what? I have like half an hour before the kids come home, so if I can nip these little weeds that have started establishing in the butt early, then it's less I have to do later. So is it ever too early to de-weed your garden? In my opinion, no. All right. Because look, underneath the dead foliage are weeds. And pretty soon this is gonna flower and then it's gonna go to seed and then you're gonna have weeds all season. So the earlier you get these stupid little guys out, the less you weed later on. And that sounds like a deal to me. That's what I'm doing. So my excuse for not raking the leaves doesn't really fly, does it? What, raking what leaves? Raking the leaves, not raking them in the fall and just leaving them for you insulation. Should. You should, unless they're on your lawn and then they'll kill your lawn because we have a ton of leaves. Well, where else would I be up? raking them from? Actually, remember we mulched them up with the mower and brought them to the farm. We're using them for compost. Yeah, but we didn't really do a good cleanup. No. Too much stuff going on. I like doing this, though. Well, that seems kind of easy right there. Yeah. And it's two feet off the ground, so you don't have to get down and dirty. Yikes. Looks like you got color back here. Yeah, so the blue sled and... <laughs> I was talking about this over here. I'm sure most people can relate to the fact that when the snow melts, yeah. We didn't have any snow. Well, we had a lot of wind. Stop making stuff up. And it blew garbage all over the place because we have a dog that uh, considers garbage a chew toy. So, right there is the guilty party. No, you're not getting this one. That's and the kids. One. We can blame the kids, no, too. No, that's a good one. You're not getting that. The deer didn't get the buds, though. Look at how full that is. 
That should be very pretty. That's going to have a lot of blooms on it. And you know what? Oh, my Spider-Man's nemesis bay lily that I divided. Look, the roots are out. The, the frost heaved them out, and it's still alive. So that should tell you how hardy. And look at this one we never even replanted. And it's still growing. It sat on top all winter. And my neglected pot of tulips is actually trying to bloom. Not trying, it is blooming. It's a four a four inch tulip stem. That's not good. Garbage. Yes. Hi Cleo. It's beautiful. It's the first color of the season, folks. What do you want? See, Jax is picking up the garbage that Zoe left. Move it. Good Come job, on, Jax. Jax. He was just about to put Jax. it in the garbage. He came and kicked them. No. Don't eat toilet paper. Good job, buddy. Way to pick things up around here. He dragged it out of the garbage. So, uh, no, he picked it up off the floor. No, he didn't. I even filmed it. He pulled it out of the trash in the bathroom. So is there a difference between the lights downstairs and then when you bring them out and put them in the sun? Should people be weary of doing this? Is there like Well, a... you, you, you shouldn't leave them out all day if they've never seen sun. But you have to harden them off. I've had these out. I had these out yesterday for a couple hours and then today and it's kind of cloudy. So I kind of know how much they can tolerate sunshine. But if you've had them under lights, if you've had seedlings under lights for like their entire life, and then you just put them out in the sun all day, they're gonna bleach out and get sunburned. So you definitely don't wanna do that. You have to hard them off because fake lighting is different than full sunshine. So definitely be aware of that. Yes, I've, I've, they will, they get sunburned. They, the leaves bleach out if they get if they haven't had a chance to acclimate to real sun. Well, isn't it true also that even on a cloudy day, you get UV rays? That... Yeah, I mean, you can, even if it's cloudy, they say you should put put them in full sun for like a, uh, if their first day for like an hour and then put them in the shade. And then the next day, three hours in the sun, the rest of the day in the shade and so on until you build up, you know, I kind of rush it. I can kind of get them done in three days. You kind of have to look at them too if you monitor them and you see their leaves a little bit bleaching out or you can just tell like the strength of the sun and how hot it is. These are cool season crops though. They like the cold temperatures and they like the sunshine. So these guys got about three hours yesterday and today they've been out since 10 o'clock. So they'll probably go back in under lights around five today. Bluebirds are back. Sounds like it. Actually, they never left. That's a pretty neat contraption you're trying to put together there. Yeah. Well, it's flexible, so it doesn't break. And it survived our property Here, for more than six in. months. See how flexible it is. It looks crooked. No, push this in. Snap it. Yeah. Yeah, not bad, huh? Get a grip, because I got one. All right. Go ahead, I want to get the tug of war. Here we go. What? I'll take it. I'll take it too. This is why you don't rough house with a what are you do? half Rottweiler, what are you do? half pit bull, half. Boxer. Boxer. Half ass. Ow. Hound. Half crazy. Yes. Junkyard dog. He's supposedly 50% pit bull. And then the rest is split between Rottweiler, Boxer, and Mutt. Yeah, well. We'll see. Her attitude shows it. Cleo, you've been replaced as garden dog. Yeah! She 
just likes to be aggressive. And so does Cleo. Let's not play favorites here. This poor thing. Cleo, the only thing Cleo's aggressive at is eating her dog food. <laughs> Pretty much. It's got leaf buds. If, if we can just protect this one year to see it bloom, I'd appreciate it. Well, what more can always, we do? Always, we had a fence around it. We've done everything. We, we didn't do anything this year. What I know the one thing we haven't done is brought it to the farm. Maybe we should bring it there. <laughs> Shut up. That'd probably be a good idea. I mean, it actually is tall now. Just the right height so the deer don't have to bend down to eat. They can just eat at eye level. They'll appreciate that. Yeah. Leo? Cleo looks like she's Cleo. picking up the scent Cleo. of something. Cleo! Cleo is deaf. And blind. I think the last word she heard was stay because the mutt hasn't moved in months. Here comes Jackster. Excuse me, that was rude. Hey, he learned from your dog. That was rude. Did you pick a plant today? Huh? Did you pick a plant? Ew, stop rubbing yourself on me. It's gross. <laughs> Uh, it's a beautiful sign of spring when the dogs are out breathing heavy. Uh, here at the barn today, we're uh, going to do a little roofing repair. Sometimes you just got to take a chance, Cody, and be a man and put those work boots to good use. We had to readjust the insurance plan, so be very careful, Cody. You're walking on thin ice. All right, I'm going back up. Be a man. Ready? There you go. Oh shit, you're fine. If oh, so that was close. That was a close call, folks. Are you serious? You're so quick to fire me. What? I didn't say anything. Baby, uh, oh my god, are you okay? No, it's ah. Uh, well, call for a ride, bud. I was about to say you're falling. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, if it don't fight, then leave it be. Getting awful brave up there, bud. Heavy fire! <laughs> My first task, I absolutely nailed it. But this time, nailing it wasn't cutting it. So I said, screw it. I'm gonna screw it. And then you screwed it up. Hey, watch out. You don't wanna scratch your behind up there. You might catch a case of shingles. It's like whack-a-mole. Nice job. This guy has got confidence, folks. Now, all kidding aside, wow. you did a wonderful job. And it's something you should be proud of. You didn't even know how to use a hammer about two hours ago. <laughs> and now you do. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably remember how to use it. This is a zero to hero moment, Cody. Embrace it. Yeah. Embrace your masculinity. They call me Shingle Man. Well, or, you probably uh, will catch shingles. Ass fault shingles because it was your fault. <laughs> Let it die. <laughs>